What's up guys, my name is Neon and today I'm going to be showing off the best pistols in Battlefield 5. We have a bunch of pistols we're going to be showing off today so make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because I show off a lot of best of weapons and so many guide videos how to improve, how to reduce recoil, what's the best overpowered weapons and good settings for this game. So subscribe to the channel if you are new. Anyway, let's crack on into the video. So we have a bunch of pistols we're going to be showing off today. There is a fair bit of pistols in Battlefield 5. I wish there was more pistols, but this is a very good variety. I'm really glad everyone actually was telling me to make a best of pistol weapon video because I wasn't planning to, but so many people, especially in my stream, was telling me, hey Neon, can you make a best of pistol weapon video? And I was like, yeah, sure. Okay, why not? If you guys want to see it, I will make it. So here we are. So the weapon I want to show off right now is the Model 27. This is by far my favourite weapon in the game. I absolutely love it. The fire rate of this weapon is 106 fire rate with 6 rounds. The damage is extreme and the good thing about this pistol is, is if you hit mark someone with a sniper rifle on upper chest, you can get your pistol out and one shot them very easily. With the Model 27, if you're really ballsy, you can just run around with this weapon and just use nothing, just this weapon. It's honestly a very good backup weapon, especially if you're sniping. As I said before, if you hit mark them once with a sniper, you can one shot them. And pretty much at a decent range as well, you can actually hit them twice in a medium range gunfight. And especially if you're close range, getting that headshot, instant kill. One shot, headshot, pistol. Now that is a good weapon. The next weapon with a fire rate of 300 with 8 bullets is the 1911 or the M1911. This is an iconic weapon in World War II and it's just such a great pistol to use. Really fun pistol to just whip out and just dominate the scene. There's two different fire rates for this weapon and the weapon I really would say you should be using is the M1911 Suppressor. Now that is a good one. Why is the suppressor better than the non-suppressor? Because in this game, if you're using suppressor, you will not be picked up on the minimap whatsoever. So if you're trying to go for a flank and you have a weapon where you know it's going to be super loud and the enemies are going to know where you are, get this pistol out and use just this pistol to get that flank and then you're going to be absolutely dominating when you switch weapon to your primary weapon because no one's going to see you coming. And this weapon's pretty interesting. The Ruby Pistol. The reason why I really like this weapon, is it the most powerful pistol? No, it's not. The reason why I like this pistol a lot is because it has a 449 fire rate. Yes, 449 fire rate. If you got a crazy trigger finger like myself, you're going to absolutely dominate people with this. Make sure every single bullet counts. If you're going to miss with this gun, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But with the fire rate, you're going to really dominate with it. So if you're in that nitty and gritty situation and you're trying to reload but someone's there, you have to get the pistol out, you got a crazy trigger finger, the ruby pistol is the way to go. And that's what I'm going to say again, a 449 fire rate. That is a really fast fire rate for a pistol. And as we were saying about the Model 27, we are talking about the MK VI Revolver. Or we'll just keep it short and just say the Revolver. The Revolver works very similar, just like the Model 27. A fire rate of 180, so you can shoot this gun way more quicker than a Revolver. But as I was saying before, if you hit mark someone and you pistol whip them, there is a high chance you can one shot them with a the revolver. Sometimes you don't always one shot them after you hit mark them with a sniper rifle, but sometimes you can. If you're really up and close, sometimes if you're really lucky, you can one shot them with the headshot. But with the revolver, it's so deadly, it's so dangerous, especially in nitty gritty situations. And the fire rate is just so good. And this is a weapon I really re recommend most people to use at the beginning before you use the Model 27. In the situations, the fire rate is very high, so you're definitely going to constantly keep pulling that trigger on them enemies, and he ain't going to stand a chance. So if you really want to use the Model 27, use the revolver. After you learn with this gun, then use the Model 27. So we have two guns, but I'm going to mention the first one first before we move on to the second one, and that is the P38 pistol. 
This was the main pistol you could use in the beta. I really do like using this pistol because the fire rate is very high with 360 fire rate and the damage is pretty nice as well. It definitely reminds me of the ruby pistol a little bit because the fire rate but the thing is this gun feels like it has more control. You can definitely aim down sight with this weapon and not lose too much control of it and the damage is pretty decent as well. But this is where we come into the P08 pistol. Both guns are very similar. 360 fire rate so as i said they are both very similar same fire rate but this weapon has a little bit of reduced control but the thing is when i use the po8 pistol and i use the p38 pistol they both feel very similar that's why i wanted to mention them both in this video because honestly it really doesn't even matter what pistol you use i really do like these pistols a lot and I definitely recommend a lot of people go around and use these pistols. And just tell me what you think. But there we go, guys. That is the best pistols. This video is definitely going to be a lot more of a shorter one. Well, I hope so. Because it's just the pistols we're showing off today. And obviously, I can't show any specializations for these pistols. But if you was telling me in the comment section and say, Hey, Neil, what is the pistol would you use? Mine would definitely be the Model 27. But as I said about the revolver, use the revolver first then use the model 27 now if you are a flank player i definitely recommend m1911 suppressor that is a good pistol to use and all the other ones use what you think is best the trickiest weapon to use is probably the ruby pistol but give them a go and let me know in the comment section what is your favorite pistol and i hope this video helped you if it did don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe to be a part of the pink Army. i'll see you troopers in the next video peace